everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Rachel with Makers Gonna Learn, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to cut and apply Cricut vinyl. It's super easy and it's really fun once you get the hang of it. I hope you all enjoy this video and let's jump into it. Okay, here we are in Cricut Design Space on our iPad, and we have already picked the cut file we're gonna use today. And this is one of over 700 cut files from Makers Gonna Learn. It's a wonderful die cutting membership. And if you have a die cutting machine, Cricut, Silhouette Cameo, Brother Scan and Cut, anything like that, you will love Makers Gonna Learn. Be sure to check it out at the link below to see what all we're about. And the first thing we're gonna do is size our project. We wanna make sure that we are not gonna cut anything that's too big or too small for what we're applying it onto. So we're gonna grab our little measuring tape here and make sure that uh, we have sized it correctly. So three by three is about the most that we can do. And we have sized ours at 2.5 by 2.5, which is a great place to, to be. We're just gonna go ahead and click make it. And you can see our little image right there ready to cut. So we're gonna hit continue. And here we're gonna click vinyl. And as you all can see, right there where it says pressure, it is set to default. So we're gonna click that and tap more pressure. It's very important to give more pressure on these vinyl projects. It makes weeding a breeze because of the deeper cuts that the more pressure gives. And now we're just going to load our mat. I've already got it here ready with our vinyl of choice. So we're gonna pop it in our maker. And once it's ready to go, we're just gonna hit that flash and cricket button. Okay, now that our cut is complete, we're just gonna unload our mat. So the first thing I like to do with my image that is just cut is get our handy dandy scraper tool and go ahead and burnish the image before we even weed it. And this helps keep what we've cut down on the backing. So once we peel up our access, it sometimes wants to peel up with us. So this just ensures that it will, will not do that. Now we're gonna get our little weeding tool here and just weed all of our access vinyl that we do not need. I'm just gonna weed inside all our little letters. And you always want to be super patient when you're weeding vinyl. You don't wanna weed up anything that you're not supposed to weed up and being patient and paying attention to your work is the best way to do that. And now that we have everything weeded, we're gonna grab our transfer paper. We've already sized it to our little image, which is perfect. So we're just gonna peel off the backing here. And I like to taco this, okay? And what that means is you can see up here, we just like to make it, make it look like a little taco. Can you see that? Yeah. So we're just gonna lay it down in our little taco from the middle out. And that helps no bubbles happen. It helps us just really apply it the way we want it. So then you get your little scraper tool and you burnish some more. And now we're just gonna pick the whole thing up off of our mat. And now we're gonna flip it over and burnish again on the back. This may seem unnecessary and it's totally optional, but it just helps our vinyl stick to the transfer paper once we weed it from the back. Before we remove the backing from this vinyl, we are going to take our project and we're going to do this little hack and you all are gonna love this. So we have here some rubbing alcohol, you know, from the dollar store, wherever. It can be any percentage really, right here we have 50. And what you're gonna do is take a little paper towel or you know, one of those little cotton balls or whatever you have laying around and put a little bit on your paper towel and wipe your surface, especially if it's a slick surface like this. If it's something like, you know, wood or maybe a canvas material, you wouldn't want to do this with that. But any material that you can use this technique on, please do. It will change the game and help your vinyl stick wonderfully. So once this is dry, you're gonna take your weeded image and you're gonna peel it up. Peel the backing right off. And if you have any letters sticking to the backing, just put it back down and get your scraper tool, burnish some more, it's not a problem. So once you have that off, 
you're going to line it up where you want it to go. Once you like the placement, you can also taco this again. You know, start from the middle. It always helps. And once you have it where you want it, you can use your scraper tool to really stick these letters on here. Now, sometimes with things like this, it's almost easier to go in with your fingers and really, really push it in, especially glass or any rounded surface like that. It's super, super helpful to just use your fingers. And also, if you're using a rounded surface like a Christmas ornament or something like that, it's a great idea to take some scissors and snip the edges all around your weeded letters on your transfer tape. It just really helps adhere to that rounded surface and not, you know, wrinkle your letters that you work so hard weeding and everything like that. So once you're confident that your letters are on there, you're going to take a corner and you're going to very, very tightly pull down. You don't want to pull up. That will increase your chances of pulling off your vinyl. So just get a really tight grip on it and pull straight back on your image. What did you guys think? I love how it turned out and with those tips, it's so easy to apply vinyl to any surface. If you all are wondering where we got this little cut file or how you can get it to, check us out at the first link below. You will love learning all about Makers Gonna Learn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to give us a like and leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks guys. Bye.